students. Today, we want to welcome you uh, to this event. This is Delta Harbor Assets, and it is called Bulk Bullion Accounts. And uh, this presentation is made possible simply because we have an ongoing partnership with a company we're going to introduce you to today called Precious Metals International. So we want to welcome them here uh, to the fold. Um, Maurizio Londonio is the CEO of Precious Metals International. He's with us today. and We'll be asking him a few questions as well as making him available for some question and answers after the slide presentation. And uh, to get right into this, I think the best thing to do is uh, welcome all of you here. And, and I'm sure many of you that are coming here today want to basically know as much as you can about what bulk bullion is, how is it different, is it different, um, and what are the aspects of this type of account with Delta Harbor. So what we're going to do is just a brief overview. We are going to do um, a basically just who we are and what we do, our types of accounts. We're going to roll through with Precious Metals International. We're going to introduce Maurizio Londonio. Uh, we're going to go through a few fundamentals, which are extremely important because uh, in this point in time, it's quite silly how cheap the price of silver and gold is, relatively speaking. And we are fortunate enough to be here and be able to own these assets. And we're going to pick on silver today because it is, quite frankly, what I think is the most undervalued asset in the entire world at this point in time. And I want to spend a little bit of time talking about that and uh, bulk bullion, the benefits of the bulk bullion account, how to open up the account and get started. And of course, the question and answers are for you. So I would ask that you hold them right now until the end. We'll give instructions on how to open up your mic or to type in and ask a question and they'll be answered as best we can and then we'll do the giveaway. So let's get started. With respect to Delta Harbor, it's pretty simple. Uh, you're uh, participating with somebody who has an extreme amount of knowledge about physical gold, silver, platinum, palladium, the precious metals market as it stands. Uh, inclusive in that knowledge is about 17 years of participation in everything from the physical market to storage, acquisition, buying and selling in all markets worldwide, uh, product development in terms of our connection and our accounts that offer registered uh, users the opportunity to put physical bullion inside of their 401ks, IRAs, and uh, here at home in Canada, TFSAs, RSPs, and so forth. And in that time, we've seen a lot of changes in the marketplace, a lot of changes in the industry. Uh, but what we've tried to do with Delta Harbor is create a company that really gives uh, all three aspects of what most companies can't deliver. And that is what we call the Delta difference. And that is basically quality product with the best service we can offer at a best price that we can give to the public. And of course, when you add all those three things up, hopefully by the end of this presentation, you'll understand why using an option like the bulk bullion account is by far superior in a run on the market when the price of gold and silver are expected to go much higher. So without further ado, here we are. We're going to introduce Precious Metals International to discuss bulk bullion and uh, give you some insight on who PMI is, Precious Metals International. I will say this, that my personal uh, relationship with Precious Metals International stems back all the way to 2004. I have worked with them on hundreds of accounts and we have had uh, tremendous success using the system that they use and all of it the best part uh, of this entire situation every single ounce that's gone through pmi with delta through all of the clients that i've worked with over the years here is all physical products so this is an amazing opportunity to be part of something that's physical that's uh, incredible in terms of its hallmark refinery options and in terms of pricing, you're going to see that throughout the presentation. So without further ado, I'm going to um, to welcome uh, Maurizio Landonio, and let's see if we can get his uh, camera up on and his microphone, Robert, and we'll um, we'll talk a little bit about Maurizio here. Maurizio has uh, 20 plus years in the uh, metals industry. Uh, he started with. Precious Metals International in 2003. He became the CEO of Precious Metals International in 2010. Beautiful. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. Excellent, Maurizio. Excellent. 
So Maurizio, I've introduced you as obviously the CEO of Precious Metals International, uh, 20 plus years in, in the industry and obviously working very close that whole time with uh, with all the things that we do on a regular everyday basis, except for you do it in a very large way uh, with a large, large inventory and, and obviously a large client base around the world in the dealers that you work with. Uh, the obvious question that comes to mind, certainly for me is, um, are all of your accounts and everything you do with your dealers, is it all physical? Because that's a question everybody always asks. Thank you, Darren. It's a pleasure to be here. I can't believe it's more than 17 years working together. It feels like it was yesterday. It's amazing. 100% of the product that is held through uh, Precious Metals International is in physical, is in physical form. And that's, and, and that's the important point that every account we open in bulk bullion, as we get to explain it shortly, uh, is one to one. So every ounce is accounted for and this is physical bullion 100 percent of the time. I want to make it clear that neither Delta nor PMI or do we believe in uh, deal in anything that's in the paper form. Uh, we, we are wholly against the idea of certificates or any promissory notes or anything that relates to the futures or options on futures, we don't deal in them. Uh, we don't short the market. Uh, we don't play games. We, we want people to understand that owning physical metals is uh, the best way to participate, in our opinion, in the precious metals market. And for that reason, that's why we're partnered with firms like Precious Metals International. So as we're talking through these, uh, Maurizio, um, I'd like to get an idea, a sense, if you will, and we'll go back to uh, this slide here. Uh, a sense, Mircho, if you would uh, share with us your thoughts on where gold and silver are going long term. And is this a long term market? Well, uh, 20 years ago, the first ounce of silver that I sold, it was about $4.50. The first ounce that I sold in gold was about uh, $198. We've been up to as we all know, recently twenty one hundred and something dollars in gold and about fifty dollars in silver back in two thousand eleven, and uh, we are at the beginning stages of the next uh, commodities super cycle. So we are expecting that the next couple of decades are going to bring a lot of price increases in these in these products. That's what we expect. Uh, we are ready for it, and. Uh, Basically, there is there is no no question about it. You can talk to a hundred analysts out there, and probably half of them are gonna tell you, ah, oh, you know what? I don't like gold. I don't have, I don't like silver. But one hundred percent of them are gonna tell you it's important to have a portion of your portfolio in these products because they will provide insurance. They will provide balancing when everything else is working. Your precious metals could be dormant, could be could be just waiting, could be just uh, a, a portion of your portfolio. But when everything else starts to crumble, it starts to shake. That's when precious metals come into play and help you protect your overall portfolio. We all know that current times are very difficult, and this pandemic has just made everything worse. And uh, down the road, especially with this kind of monetary expansion that we are experiencing, there is no other way that the, the economy is gonna look for some kind of balancing down the road. And that balancing will come supported by, by commodities, especially the money commodities like uh, gold and silver. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. And we write about it every week. And obviously it's extremely important, Maurizio, um, if, if you would hang on there, we're going to run through just a couple of fundamentals and come back to a question about how you personally define bulk bullion. But thank you for your answers and certainly a big welcome to you in this presentation. We're glad to have you along. So we'll be right back with um, Maurizio Londonio, CEO of Precious Metals International, PMI. We are currently experiencing, as you can see here, all of these things at the same time, at a time when the public is becoming aware of the silver story, all different facets of it. and at a time when the price for silver is arguably dirt cheap. It costs next to nothing. You have gold near 2,000, 1,700 and change. You have platinum and palladium in the thousands. You've got silver at $24 and change. What an opportunity existing for you, the investor. What an opportunity to be involved in something. And quite frankly, what we wanna look at is how do we capitalize on this? 
Well, there we go. We throw in the idea of what bulk bullion accounts are at Delta. This is an opportunity for you as an investor to actually own physical product and save a whole lot of money on it. So let's get to it. And um, while we're looking at this slide right here, I'd like to reintroduce Maurizio Londonio from uh, Precious Metals International. If we can, Robert, are we, are we, is it possible to do it? Yep. He's let's see. Okay, there. so Maurizio is back in there. Maurizio, you can hear me okay? Yes, perfect. Excellent. So, Maurizio, one question for you as we get into bulk bullion right now and discuss it further and help people understand what it is. In your own words, how would you describe bulk bullion? Okay, um, let's go through the whole exercise first. When you buy, when you buy a piece of precious metals, physical product, basically you need to uh, you need to decide what is the type of precious metal that you want to acquire. Let's say you want to you want to purchase a one one hundred ounce silver bar, correct? And then you need to deal with the risk and the logistics of it. The risk of uh, am I taking delivery? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it at home. I am going to be paying at my local bank for a for a for a security box. But then what what happens when I want to sell it? What happens when I want to dispose of it? What's uh, what's what's going to be involved? And then you get into the logistics of it. So bulk bullion basically it's a it's a product that is that is that is helping you avoid the risk because you're not you're only taking the market risk, meaning the price goes up or the price goes down. But we all determine and we are all comfortable with the idea that in the next two decades there is no other way for prices but to go up. So we already deal with that risk. Now we need to deal with the logistics. We don't want to take delivery of the product. We may take delivery of the product at a, at a, at a later time, but now we just want to be exposed to this. We, we, just, we just want a, 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 to make precious metals physical product a portion of our portfolios and not having to deal with the logistics. That's when bulk bullion comes in. In bulk bullion, you get a portion of the inventory allocated to you. It's not a specifically assigned to a particular coin or, or to a singular bar, but it's allocated to a portion of the inventory. And in doing that, you are also saving us from the logistics of having to move one bar from this vault to this, to this next vault. And that's why the price is so cheap to, uh, to, um, to, to acquire bulk bullion. I'm not sure if that was good enough. That's great. I mean, obviously that gives us some uh, idea and sense of what bulk bullion is. It's real. It's not pooled product. It's not certificate or any other paper type of derivative. The right. bullion that's bought by the individual is back one to one. And what you're saying is if at any point in time, the individual that owns bulk bullion account wants to convert his holdings to a premium bullion in a hundred ounce bar or something of that nature, as we will show in a minute, they can do so and they can take delivery home if they wish to. Uh, so this is an exciting opportunity uh, for a person to participate, get exposure to uh, any of the precious metals that are offered. But in particular, we're going to be really emphasizing and picking on silver here. And this bulk bullion account can save a person a fortune. So let's talk a little bit more about this as we go on here. Uh, and let's move to the next slide because obviously it's important to talk about the benefits of the pricing difference. And that visual basically shows you the difference between a bar that we can have delivered to the account or home. Um, of course, that price doesn't include the shipping that we might have to pay or the insurance on the shipping, but the price of that bar as it stands that would be delivered to our account or the bulk bullion that we could buy in the same instance. And the per ounce cost difference, that's a 100 ounce RCM bar, that's landed price, including everything. And then you have bulk bullion on the other side, and you have that in USD and Canadian. And both are physical metal, and both offer different uh, flexibilities. And certainly the opportunity for a person to take advantage of bulk bullion might might best be described as the opportunity to take advantage of moves in the market, Maurizio. And if you're still with us, when we end this, I want to ask another question. You don't have to come back on now, but 
when we're talking about bulk bullion, the idea that somebody in bulk bullion wants to have the opportunity to perhaps do a little more buying and selling through this marketplace is exactly why I love bulk bullion accounts because that person isn't necessarily having to pay the high premiums for a 100 ounce bar or a 10 ounce uh, bar and then worry about how to cover that when they want to buy and sell. So in the case of silver, it went up to $30 not too long ago. It pulled back to 24. Wouldn't it be great to be able to take advantage of that, not worrying about two or three or $4 premium that has to be paid to buy the 100 ounce bar, the 10 ounce bar. Instead, you have a bulk bullion account, which you can use to do a much more effective investment for those that want to take advantage of it. And this is what we've been doing for since 2004, I've been opening these accounts for clients. And this is the awesome opportunity that is bulk bullion. So in this example, you'll see, uh, as the bottom line shows, there is a 74% difference in the premium cost. That means you are paying a uh, much smaller price when you're buying bulk bullion with the ability to still convert that to a 100 ounce bar at any time, at any time call for delivery you want, and uh, or a 10 ounce bar or a 1,000 ounce bar, whatever we have there. And uh, you also get the benefits that we're going to discuss going forward here. Let's go to the next slide. Bulk bullion, one ounce increments. That's such an important thing to understand. If I open up an account in bulk bullion and I want to take full advantage of that account, I may want to make smaller decisions, smaller purchases, smaller sell uh, sales when I'm moving in and out of the market. Let's say I own a thousand ounces of silver. I might only want to do a small portion. Bulk bullion offers that flexibility. You can buy and sell in one ounce increments. You'll be able to buy and sell in worldwide markets. For those that already know, uh, and for those that don't know, uh, the bullion markets open on Sunday evenings and are open throughout the day, with the exception of just a few minutes per day between five and six, uh, from Sunday to Friday. Your bank or your ETF investment or your paper derivative is not open 24 hours a day. If the price of silver on a Sunday night decides to dip a little and you want to take advantage of it, there are certain situations when you are prepared in bulk bullion where you can take advantage of that. Uh, certainly there are conditions, but again, like any other account, this is uh, the part of the tools that are at your disposal when it comes to using this account. In addition to that, also being able to buy and sell in worldwide markets means you maintain liquidity, which means you can use stops. Um, you have an online dashboard. So when you log into the account, you are going to see your account there and you get the expertise of Delta backing that in helping you to uh, get that account open, to acquire that product, to sell that product, to talk about storage options, to talk about uh, moving to premium bullion if you want to convert over to a different bar type, or if you want to use the account as it progresses to take full advantage of those opportunities to buy and sell. Maybe you want to use that account to even go a step further and uh, with that peace of mind, having physical bullion there, use what we're going to talk about in a minute, which is collateral financing. So these accounts, again, 100% insured. Um, you have the uh, backing of major storage facilities. Uh, IDS is one of the biggest ones we use. That's there, and you'll see that. But there are others that are involved in the process. And great shipping opportunities. Everything comes shipped insured if you're taking home delivery. But in bulk bullion accounts, you get auditing done on uh, on uh, throughout the year. Uh, it's in a stable jurisdiction. If you are outside of a stable jurisdiction and you want to invest in something that will be stable, you have that option through Delta and PMI. Uh, and as we said, you have an amazing opportunity to add all of this up in a bulk bullion account, putting it together. And if you want to take it a step further, you can utilize, as we move on here, your holdings, not only in bulk bullion, but to, uh, to have 1,000, 10,000, 20,000 ounces of silver, 100, couple hundred ounces of gold, or even 10 ounces of gold, whatever it is. You can use that bullion as collateral to have the opportunity to use the loan facilities of Precious Metals International. Now, let's take a look at that as well. So not only can you buy the cheaper bulk bullion without those high premiums, 
get physical, get peace of mind that it's stored, and take delivery home whenever you want if you want to convert to another bar type, you also get the option of using collateral loan facilities. So you can extend that lending, let's take a look, up to 80% of the metal's value. So in essence, if you wanted to have 10,000 worth of metals, you would be laying out 20% as a minimum of that 10,000 plus the cost of the fees associated to it. So ultimately you get to use what we call collateral financing and you could bulk up your holdings. You could also hold some of your money back for a rainy day. It just depends how you view it and what type of investor or buyer you are. We certainly don't have any priority on either way or either approach. If you're owning bulk bullion, you can choose to use the collateral loan facilities or you can not use those collateral loan facilities. The choice is up to you. There's uh, no credit checks. Uh, there's no additional collateral necessary unless we talk about risk. And of course, we can always talk about that when you open up the account. But ultimately, you have the opportunity to have, in this visual right now, an account which is completely different in its return. So in essence, that 10,000 US that we're showing there uh, could uh, give you in the collaterally financed version, we could it could give you as much as 1,548 ounces and in the outright purchase where you're not using the collateral financing at about 328 ounces. So either example is perfectly fine, but one certainly gives you a much larger kick and that option is available to you as an investor using the bulk bullion program. This is a very exciting opportunity and one which could uh, skyrocket your return if you, like us, believe that the price of silver is on the cusp or gold is on the cusp of rising dramatically over the next few years. Not only that, but this example does not take into consideration the buying and the selling that you might do to improve your overall holdings, meaning if the price of silver rises, goes up five, six, seven dollars, and you've made a bunch of money. You can take that those that profit off the table with a sell order, wait for the price to drop, and take some of that money home with you, eat away at your principal, put it back in your pocket, put some of that money back into the market. Instead of having 1,548 ounces, now you can have 2,000 ounces. There are smart ways to manage this, and this account includes not only our expertise, but an entire backing of PMI's expertise with literature to show you how to manage precious metals ownership. So we are going to throw all of that into this so that you can be the best owner possible of these bulk bullion accounts and use it to your benefit to be able to buy and sell and make as much return as possible while ensuring your wealth overall. So we're maintaining that idea that gold and silver are insurance for your wealth. Now, when we look at what we're talking about here, again, let's look at the benefits of bulk bullion and also talk about taking delivery. Your product is real physical bullion. It's owned by you. And as we said earlier, you can convert to different bar types. So in holding bulk bullion, you might want to have a hundred ounce bar with some 10 ounce bars of silver. You can do that. But if you look again here, just as a reminder, I want to make sure you understand the beauty of this account is the fact that we have uh, a very, very big substantial difference between the premium bar and the bulk bullion. So unless you have a reason to take home that bar, and many of you do, and that's perfectly fine, we offer that as well, and pricing is super competitive, uh, bulk bullion may be an, another way of growing your silver holdings. In other words, a little bit of diverse diversification may go a very long way for you when you're talking about different ways to hold physical silver. Bulk bullion is just one of them. <clears throat> now, when we're talking about opening an account, you've consumed all of this information today, and uh, we want to bring this to a close and get the giveaway done. We want to keep it very simple. You can go to our website. You can click how it works and open up a bulk bullion uh, account. There you'll see that it advances you to the Precious Metals International website where you can open up the three different types, individual, joint, or corporate account. And then of course, you can fund your account and make your first purchase. Funding the account has to happen before you make your first purchase. That's just the way the account works. 
And ultimately, we can help you through that. Very simple. And you're always going to be at our doorstop. So you will always come to our, uh, to our desk, to our door, uh, calling us at Delta. And PMI, although they're always happy to facilitate any answers you need to questions about the accounts, uh, they work with dealers like Delta Harbor and uh, not directly with public. So you'll be working with Delta. You'll have two accounts uh, representatives on every account and you'll be getting that Delta difference that we talked about earlier, which is price, quality product and service all in one aspect. Uh, now, Rob, before we, before we advance on here, uh, we're just going to go to a second slide of getting started. This shows it very easily, and uh, this next slide is just the next step in making a purchase. I'd like to bring Maurizio back in for a moment before we open up the uh, Q and A. Okay. Okay. And so, uh, I want to let people know that that getting into this account is is uh, not something you do without giving it some thought. There is some due diligence to be observed. For those that know you want to do this or have been thinking about this opportunity or looking at our website. Sure, you can go ahead and, and tomorrow, today, Monday, we can open the account. But uh, it all starts with a phone call. You have to be motivated enough to understand the opportunity that lies before you. Uh, when you have the knowledge and you take the action, you have success. So it ultimately comes down to you taking this knowledge, understanding, like us, where you think silver is going, or gold, or both, and putting it to good use. The bulk bullion account is one way to do that and to avoid some of those uh, very expensive costs. And I might add this, I wanna ask uh, Mauricio his thoughts on it, but one of the reasons I love the bulk bullion account and I've used it over the years, is that I love being able to decide at a later point, perhaps when premiums aren't quite as high, that I might wanna take delivery of 100 ounce bars or 10 ounce bars or grow my stack at that time. Right now, because of this increased demand, there's tremendous pressure on dealers to provide bullion which they are paying much more for at the wholesale level because the availability is very minimal. Mints around the world, refiners around the world, non-mint fabricators around the world are all being pressured through this pandemic to keep producing. And the RCM here at home in Canada and the US Mint is having a heck of time getting the same array of products out to the marketplace. So we're seeing kilo bars hard to come by. Uh, we're seeing uh, some places, we're seeing 100 ounce bars, very difficult to come by. That might change down the road as we get back to some norm, or uh, you may, as a client, just stay with bulk bullion, but the option is always there to convert at a, at a lesser premium down the road when there's more bar availability. Now, that being said, uh, Maurizio, can we bring you back in just for a minute here? There you are, great. Um, would there be anything else before we go to question and answers, Maurizio, that you might like to add that could help this conversation or a person looking to uh, get into bulk bullion investing? Absolutely. The first thing that I want to point out is that uh, the silver market is pretty well supplied worldwide. However, we are going through a, 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 a difficult time fulfilling orders for a smaller product, let's say coins and, and smaller bars. And the reason for that is because when the when the pandemic started uh, and basically every everyone went into a into a lockdown, and then the the, the refineries and the mines started to reopen, they didn't want to expose everybody to uh, contamination. So they didn't want just because one person came in a, a, a sick that everybody would get sick and then they have to close down again. So what they did is they moved into a three shift operation. So they had to divide their 100% uh, work base into three, into three different shifts. So that means they are now working at one third of what they usually work. And that's why it's taking longer. It's taking longer to fulfill orders for a smaller product. But um, that's obviously uh, something that is, that is going to get better. And uh, uh, the, the spreads will start to come down at some point in the future. It's difficult to say when, but at some point in the future, they will start to come down. Now, uh, bulk bullion is basically the exposure to the physical precious metals market without any of the hassle for the logistics. Most of us as investors in, this, in these products, we just want to make sure that we have the physical product 
and that we own the physical product, that, that our dollars are backed by the physical product. But we don't want to be dealing with anything else. We don't want to be receiving the product. We don't want to be dealing with that or, or buying safes or, 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 or securing uh, spaces as, at our local banks. And that's also because we want to have the liquidity that we can sell it at any time and that we can convert that to dollars at any time. That's where bull bullion comes in. Bull bullion gives you all those options because what we do is we allocate a portion of the physical that is on the on the on the uh, depository to your name, and then you own it, and then you can sell it anytime without any of the logistics. That's uh, basically the, the 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 wonder of it. And then you can convert anytime. If at any time you decide, mm, you know what, for Christmas I want to give some coins away so i'm gonna out of the thousand ounces that i own why don't you send me 10 coins 20 coins well we convert 20 ounces from bulk bullion to the coins you only have to pay the fabrication premium the difference in the premium and then you can have your coins delivered to your uh to your doorstep well again that's that's a reminder of just how easy this is uh, accounts can be opened within, in some cases, obviously over the years, we've opened up accounts even on the same day, depending on how set up the client is. But uh, over the course of 24 hours, uh, an account usually gets opened up, money's uh, deposited to the account. And then, of course, they see it, they log on to their beautiful uh, dashboard with PMI, and they're able to see their holdings. Um, and, and as those holdings change over time, their accounts are completely updated on a month to month basis. And the choice of using the collateral financing is that of the client. So if they want to move their uh, bulk bullion into that kind of uh, holdings, they have the option of doing so. And they can always do that through Delta. And I think overall, Maurizio, the, the point I'm making is I've seen too many times that there has been tremendous amounts of success. People just absolutely uh, making a, a, a really nice return for themselves as this market progresses and not being too aggressive. The whole idea is that you don't day trade. Uh, but again, the flexibility, if the price is fluctuating and going up and down, is that you have uh, a very affordable way to do it. And that's the other aspect of this. So if you are looking for that type of opportunity, you want to add to your stack and you want to do it in a different way, and maybe you want to use your metal as collateral for additional purchases uh, of like or unlike product, maybe you want to have some silver and gold, this is the way to do it. So just give us a call. Remember one thing, go take a look at commodity prices in 1980 and find me a single commodity in silver that's comparable like silver uh, at the same or less price. Silver is below its 1980 price. If you can find me another commodity that's below its 1980 price, and that's not adjusted, that's just quite simply put the price of silver in 1980, uh, in January of 1980 was $52 an ounce. Silver right now is trading at half that price, less than half that price. Uh, where else do you get those kinds of opportunities in the world? This is the moment in life where you grasp on, take hold of it, and maximize the opportunity. Bulk bullion accounts do that for us, and it gives us a distinct advantage over everyone else that's fussing about with logistics and worrying about how to get the bars to me and everything like that. It's not to suggest it's a bad thing. I myself hold premium bars and have for a very long time. It's just one additional aspect of how I can take advantage of the slow price. Let's get to questions and answers. Rob, first question. All right, so uh, the first question uh, is from Kurt. Okay. Um, is the bulk bullion uh, program RRSP or TFSA eligible? Um, and what, what about RIF accounts as well? Okay, so the bulk bullion program is not uh, eligible for that particular purpose when we are dealing with Canadian laws and registered accounts and it's the same thing for the American side we must have premium bars they must be allocated bars uh, in 100 ounce 10 ounce form and they can be other types that are available in coins and things of that nature uh, those programs run predominantly through uh, also Precious Metals International does offer us that ability we also run them through Quest Trade but Ultimately, those programs do not allow bulk bullion uh, to be held in those types of accounts. I wish they did. I wish there was something we could do. But at this point in time, no, we have to select from a back end of product that's available to us. 
and uh, that's how that works. So hopefully that answers your questions. Uh, but uh, this account could be a great addition to a registered account in which, let's say, in silver you have you know a collection of hundred ounce bars in your TFSA, which are tax free. Uh, you may uh, want to add an additional account like bulk bullion. Uh, where you can do some buying and selling. This is not under, by the way, uh, the same confines of, of the TFSA or other registered accounts around the world. Uh, this works freely and this depends on you as an individual uh, to be reporting. So this is much different in bulk bullion. Uh, likewise, same as taking bullion home, you are reporting on your own. Hopefully that answers that question. But Kurt, Rob, next question. Yeah, I also just wanted to reiterate that we do offer um, programs where you can put uh, the premium product into your RSP yep. uh, or TFSA for Canada and IRAs for the US. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so another one here um, from uh, Thanos. Uh, what did delivery fees look like, uh, not including the fabrication or premium spread? So delivery fees is a great question. Uh, that's dependent upon, obviously, the size of order and the amount of insurance required. In many cases, if you are local, we are able to uh, accommodate deliveries for you, which could be as little as no dollars. Uh, if you're local and perhaps maybe you have the opportunity to pick it up uh, under normal circumstances outside of COVID, you may also drop into the depository where there is physical metal to pick up your holdings. Uh, in terms of shipping, if we are shipping worldwide, uh, it will depend on where we're shipping to. The product may start in other regions, but I would, for PMI accounts in particular, uh, I would like to bring Maurizio back in for a second and maybe he can shed some more light on uh, holdings that are within the PMI vaults and what his experience is more recently with shipping. That Maurizio, is... are you back there? Yes, we have. Excellent. Maybe you can answer that question as far as it relates to PMI product being shipped out. Absolutely. Every time a client that holds uh, bullion premium or a client that is converting bulk bullion into bullion premium and taking delivery, we have a standard a standard fee of $150 up to $10,000 in product value, and it's free over $10,000 in product value. That's a straightforward answer. Hopefully and that that's uh, helps Dennis. Yes, and if we can do anything to support that or we can... Um, uh, ultimately offer shipping in some other way, shape or form, certainly at Delta, we go out of our way to make certain that fees are kept to a minimum. But that's a great answer, Maurizio, because quite often we have accounts which are moving a uh, product that is well over $10,000. So uh, great feedback. Next question, Rob? Sure. Um, so the next uh, question is from uh, Fareed. So okay. um, how can I trust your company to put my investment in your hand? Uh, so what's the legitimate guarantee? Okay, so it's a great question, and I want Maurizio to answer this for PMI. I will answer for Delta. On Delta's end of things, uh, certainly we have oversight by IROC, which is uh, the uh, Investment Regulatory Council of Canada that oversees commodities, uh, and we have no right to your product. So when we vault product, that product is in your name uh, under Delta's uh, accounts, uh, and that product cannot be touched by Delta or changed or altered without your permission. If Delta was not to exist tomorrow, well, that product is not only stored at a facility that is guaranteed and insured, but it's in your name. So there is nothing to fear about with respect to Delta not being here long term, although we suspect that having been in the industry for 17 years, we'll be here for many, many moons to come. Uh, that being said, as far as PMI is concerned, I'll let Maurizio answer that question and how it relates to his holdings. And uh, Maurizio, you heard the question, okay? Yes, thank you, Darren. Okay, the answer to, to that question is very simple. Um, you are dealing, you are, the client is dealing with a local company, being Delta Harbor. In order for Delta Harbor to start a relationship with a company like Precious Metals International, they need to go through a whole process. They need to bet the whole, the whole deal. They need to make sure the company is doing, is doing uh, uh, what is what is supposed to be doing. But I would like to add to that, that through, uh, throughout 20 years in, in, in business, we have secured agreements with the most respected vaults, being IDS, Brinks, Loomis, the Perth Mint, 
um, strategic wealth preservation. So we only work with the best of the best in terms of the deposits. Each deposit has its own insurance on product and it's insured up to 100% of the market value of the product. So there is no risk involved in there. In addition to that, we only work in stable jurisdictions, being Canada, the United States, the Cayman Islands, Switzerland, Singapore, uh, Australia. We only work in stable jurisdictions. So the client is protected, not only because they own physical product, but because, because their product is is at a depository that is recognized worldwide, fully insured. Also, because that product is in jurisdictions that are that 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 have proven to be stable. And uh, finally, every uh, every six months, there is an audit an audit uh, review conducted on all the product, making sure that every single ounce that the client owns is on the depository, basically. So we are one to one, a hundred percent. Excellent response. Excellent response. Uh, and ultimately, the Sorry. track record is such that we've never had an issue um, that I'm aware of. Um, and, and certainly, there is there's hundreds and hundreds, thousands of transactions that have have come across and storage accounts that have opened uh, with PMI and Delta. And I've ne I don't know of a single issue that's ever occurred. That's, Go that's, ahead, what, that's what I was going to say. In today's world, when everything is out there, when everything is out there on the internet, on the on the on the reviews pages, on the on the Better Business uh, Bureau's uh, uh, portals, that's the best presentation. In 20 years, we don't have any issues whatsoever. We have delivered up to the last ounce. We have sent up to the last dollar to our clients. And that's the best presentation, basically. That's right. So that hopefully for uh, Farid, that answers your question. Uh, but it's a very extremely stable environment, and you're working with people who've been in the industry for a very long time, and experienced tremendous amounts of success. This is up to you. We we want to get going. We want to do this, but obviously, you want to work with a team that is respected and understands the need to protect the client. So we are definitely making and always have made that part of our approach to uh, our client support and helping them to understand how insured they are and how protected they are should anything occur. But up to this point, knock on wood, we've been uh, having ex ex excellent experience. Next question, Rob. Okay, so uh, the next question is a two-part question mm -hmm. uh, from Mark. Um, so when I sell my silver, uh, what price do I receive for it? Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll answer that in two parts on Maritza, you can have your say too, because it applies to PMI accounts. Um, when you're, uh, buying, you saw the price we showed on the slide there. And, uh, when it comes to selling, uh, generally speaking, the sell price is going to be uh, spot, uh, for Delta spot, less the fee of selling. Generally speaking, that's in the two to 3% range. Uh, Maurizio, I'll let you have that uh, in terms of sell prices for uh, PMI bulk bullion accounts. Transparency is the key. Mm -hmm. uh, clients gain access, online access to, to their accounts to look at the valuation on the accounts 24-7 at any point. And uh, they have access to the, to the pricing system. So they will know at any point how much they will get per ounce if they decided to sell at that particular time. So fully fully transparent on, on, on prices. And I might add to that, we discuss ahead of time when buying and selling what price to expect. So there's really no surprises there. We give a range, which is obvious because the market's moving and fluctuating up and down, but the client always knows that. Uh, was right. that the first part of the question, Rob? Yeah, that was the first part. Okay, second question. Yeah, so part. the second part of the question is, um, if I do make um, you know a lot of profit on my silver um, in the bulk bullion account, um, how do I withdraw my money uh, from the bulk bullion account? Okay, so assuming that you've sold off and now you have a cash position in your account, when you log into your dashboard, it will in fact show your cash position. It will be sitting in US dollars. And quite simply, you're just making the request through Delta Harbor for what's called a uh, equity release. So essentially you're taking funds 
out of your PMI account, PMI uh, will be uh, told that that's occurring through their back-end system with Delta, and then we would supply those funds to the client as soon as they've arrived. Uh, that could happen in as few as 24 hours. Uh, so it never takes long. It's easy to get money out of the account and likewise to put it back in. And uh, when, we're, when we're giving those funds back to the client, you'll be quite surprised that when the price of silver is moving, we're often talking, as Maurizio pointed to, these topics of transparency. We're, we're constantly with the client. And if they're doing very well in the account, um, one thing that many people don't do is take money off the table. So we're going to talk about that and why it's important to remember that, hey, listen, it's great to make money, but you don't realize it unless you take it off the table. So let's take some off the table. And that's how this uh, account is handled, the bulk billion account. Uh, in terms of getting money back and forth, same day. Um, we're in constant contact with Precious Metals International and we wire back and forth on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, funds move very, very efficiently. Uh, there's no hold up ever, and um, it only relates to what the client uh, client's account has in it. So in order to create funds to send, you have to sell off product. Assuming you have a cash position in your account, uh, that cash can be brought out of the account and effectively uh, sent to you as a client from Delta, through Delta. That's how that happens. Richio, do you have anything to add on that part? Yes. The reason, the reason I like that question is because it gives me the chance to get into, into, a, into a particular uh, scenario in this industry, which is the 24-48 hour cash settlement. Every client must do their own homework when they are looking for, for companies to engage with and, and, and finally gain, gain exposure to this market. But one of the things they always need to look at it's how fulfillment will work. If they hear something like, put the order with me, I'll fill it out in the next 24 hours, and then you, you're going to have your cash next week. That's a no. That's a big alert. It's 24, 48 hours cash settlement, which means liquidity is instant, instant liquidity. You place your order today, you place your order now, if within, within five minutes, you need to be reflected uh, uh, in your account. That order needs to be reflected in your in your account. If it's before 2.30, the funds are sent to your broker the same day. If it's after 2.30, your funds are sent to your broker the next day. And then from your broker to you, which means the tops it should, it should take to get to you is 48 hours. If you hear anything different than that, it's a big alert. Please be careful with that. Right, it's a good point, Maurizio. And in the industry, that does happen quite frequently. I hear horror stories all the time, and that's not the way we treat it here. We have a long history with PMI as well as our accounts at Delta, and um, funding the account, and also having the bullion arrive into the account if they're using storage or taking it home, uh, has to be discussed always. And it's an important reminder that that is a great question that must be asked. It's part of due diligence. Any other questions, Rob? Yep, we uh, actually have a couple more. Okay. Um, so the first one here is uh, from Fareed. We sort of covered this a little bit before, but mm -hmm. um, in case, God forbid, Delta goes bankrupt, uh, what will happen to my investment? Where do I go? Okay, so if you have a bulk bullion account through Delta Harbor with Precious Metals International and Delta was to go bankrupt or not exist any longer, it is not an issue whatsoever. Precious Metals International would make reparations for you to be covered by another broker or by themselves, and they would handle that. I'll let Maurizio answer that question, uh, but it's not, I've never experienced it. It's never happened, 17 years in the business, but uh, there is a, a definite uh, system in place that would cover the client, protect the client, and because all of that is done through um, all of the various uh, storage facilities that are certified, and through PMI, which is a long-term uh, user of those facilities, the insurance is impeccable, uh, and there's no concern. In other words, Delta cannot walk away with your account uh, or with your funds in hand. It's just not possible to do it because we are segregated from your actual account. We can't touch it. We just help you to administer the account and to uh, to manage the ins and outs. Uh, Maurizio, your, your feedback on that. If Delta was to go bankrupt, what would happen with the client's bulk bullion account? Absolutely. Uh, Delta is the broker, is the broker on record. 
the, the product is held under PMI for the benefit of the, of the client. Uh, Delta is to uh, basically act on the instructions of the, of the client in terms of buying and selling. But the moment that Delta decides not to be there because uh, it closes or for whatever reason, that has no implication in the product of the client. It has no implication whatsoever. We right. have had we have had the, the 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 cases in the past. In 20 years, you you can imagine that anything has happened and everything. Uh, we have had the, the cases in the past where other brokers just decide to close their doors. And then what we do is we is we we talk to the client and basically we reassign those accounts if they want to continue uh, holding that product or we just cash it out and send the money back home. Right. And I'll take that I'll take that a step further and ask not only what happens if Delta goes bankrupt, um, in the event that something unfortunate, God forbid, I'm not certainly thinking this way, but to protect the client even a step further, what happens if PMI no longer exists tomorrow? Thank you. PMI handles two different uh, operations, the segregated part and the, and the operational uh, part. The segregated part is where we have all the client holdings, all the client products, all the client monies, and that's the, and that's the part that is audited every six months. And that's segregated. It's there, untouched. And then there is the operational part, the part that we use to pay salaries, to pay rents, to pay for any of our operational expenses. Those two never mingle, never touch each other. So if PMI operating, if PMI operational uh, part would to have any kind of issue, again, if we decide to close, then the segregated part, the segregated part is going to, is going to be taken by another firm or we are going to name probably the auditors. We will name someone that will, that will come in and basically we'll contact each client and we'll say, okay, this is how much you have in, in, with, with PMI. What would you like to do? Would you like to take delivery? Would you like to sell it and, and take the, the, the cash? Would you like to basically look for another house that we can transfer this, this, this product to? There are, it's it, any, any options basically, but the, but the important part is that the segregated portion of the portfolio is there. No, it, it never mingles with the with the operational part of PMI. Excellent. Thank you for your response, Maurizio. And I would uh, also take that just one step further to say that uh, when we're considering these accounts, uh, we might want to also uh, take that a step further in terms of, of other options because people are listening and will we'll be viewing this presentation on YouTube and wherever we place it. Um, we were talking about bulk bullion today. But the option to hold uh, premium bullion, let's say if I wanted 100 ounce uh, bars with serial numbers, the option to hold those bars in your PMI account is also there. If a client should wish to pay those premiums and wants to have an account where they have specific 100 ounce bars with serial numbers devoted to them, that option is also available and that product is also available to be used as collateral for PMI's collateral loan facilities. So both options exist there. I wanted to make sure we talked about that just for a, a quick minute. And um, okay, so the last question we have here is, uh, what is the default storage location when opening up a bulk bullion account? Okay, here in Canada, uh, there are two default um, locations, uh, predominantly with IDS of Canada and IDS of Delaware. Uh, so you may have product that could be stored in Mississauga at IDS, or you could have product that's stored in the U.S. through Delaware Holdings at IDS there. Um, Rizzo, you want to comment a bit further about PMI Holdings? Thank you. So we touch the security part. We touch the transparency part. We touch the liquidity part. And now you're giving me the chance to talk about diversification, how important that is. Because when, when we work in several different jurisdictions and they are all pretty stable in terms of in terms of, of, of finances and, 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 and economy. The moment you buy bulk bullion, it gets automatic diversification among all of our inventories. However, 
you can always choose to have your your bull bullion stored at at a particular uh, uh, um, uh, depository let's say ids of, of canada or ids of delaware and then we will make sure that 100 percent of your bull bullion is stored at that at that location but the moment you buy into that product you are gaining instant de diversification throughout all the all the jurisdictions and it's great to know a client has some choice uh, it's not very often most dealers you work with give you one storage option and that's all you get uh, with PMI accounts, you get that added bonus of being able to pick a jurisdiction. And um, although there could be fees associated with the movement of bullion that are above and beyond the cost of bullion itself, you still have that option available. We can discuss it. And that's part of that transparent uh, conversation. So thank you for that. Um, with that in mind, Maurizio, I do want to offer a big, huge uh, thank you for you participating and taking the time. And again, over the years and the relationship that we've had, uh, with PMI is such that uh, we have every reason to expect with the amount of fundamentals at play here and situation we currently find ourselves in, that we will be partners for a long time to come. And it excites me to no end to know people have this opportunity right now to buy into a market in silver and gold that is extremely undervalued. In silver in particular, it's very interesting. Uh, because we have a tremendous, tremendous opportunity there. Fundamentally, the best market I think that I've ever laid eyes on. And I'd like people to take advantage of it. Bulk bullion accounts through PMI, as well as premium bullion accounts, are just one way we can do that. So thank you for all of that and everything that you've supported us uh, with through these uh, last number of years. It's been tremendously fun and an opportunity of a lifetime. And I hope that uh, you'll be with me on this side uh offering these accounts for decades to come it's that exciting for me right now absolutely darren it's been my pleasure and uh we have grown uh, in an industry together and we and our the business is about relationship and this is a clear a uh, 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 definition of that thank you for participating we want to thank everybody today for joining this and as always the website deltaharbor.com that's where we reside we're always growing and we want you the client to experience the delta difference so we want to say thank you to all of our attendees today uh, we look forward to being with you next time and uh, certainly the number please use it please feel free to call us anytime you have questions about bullion ownership diversification or bulk bullion accounts thank you once again to robert and uh, to Maurizio. And uh, on behalf of our team at Delta, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.